Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of the coolest tech show on the web. My name is Ankit Fadi and as always, I'm going to show you how you can stretch the limits of technology. In today's episode, we're going to see how you can access everything on your Android phone from anywhere in the world. So keep watching. There are a lot of times wherein you need to remotely access your Android phone. Imagine that you've forgotten your phone at home, but you want to show some files, pictures, or videos from it to all your friends. Or imagine that you've forgotten your phone at home and you need to make a very important, urgent phone call, but the number that you need to call is there in the address book on your Android phone, which you've forgotten at home. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could remotely access everything on your Android phone? Now there's a very interesting software called AirDroid which allows you to do exactly that. Once you download the AirDroid app to your phone, the first thing that you got to do is you need to create your free account on it. And once you've created your free account, your Android device can now be accessed remotely from any browser, any device from anywhere in the world. Let me show you how to do that. To remotely connect to your Android device, all you got to do is start your browser and simply connect to web.airdroid.com. You gotta enter the same username password that you entered when you created your AirDroid account and simply click on sign in. Don't forget your password, otherwise this software will not work. And within a few seconds, the AirDroid software will try to locate your phone and try to remotely connect to your phone and give you access to everything on it. In a matter of a few seconds, I have successfully managed to connect to my Android phone and using all these different icons, I can now control, access, download, upload, delete, modify and do anything that I wish to do on my Android phone remotely through my browser from anywhere in the world. I love this app. Let me show you how easy it is to use this app. Now first of all, let's assume that you want to access all your contacts in your address book. So if you notice, all my address book information is now displayed on my laptop screen. I can add a new contact if I wish to. I can delete or modify an existing contact as well, all remotely through the internet. Let's assume that I want to show some pictures from my mobile phone to all my friends. So I'm able to remotely access all the pictures on my cell phone. Basically, I can delete pictures, upload pictures, download pictures. I can share pictures. I can even change the wallpaper of my Android phone all remotely through the web. I can similarly also watch videos on my Android phone using my laptop. I can download videos, upload videos as well. Now let's assume that you have received a lot of SMS messages on your Android phone. Now a lot of times it's a lot faster and easier to type your replies on a laptop keyboard. So using the Android device or using the Android app, you can even remotely access all the messages on your Android phone. So if you notice from one of my previous episodes of Geek on the Loose, we had received some kisses from my baby doll. So I have just sent back some kisses back to her. I have typed the reply on my laptop in this space provided. I type, click on send and a few seconds later, the message gets sent from my Android phone to my baby doll. Now let's assume that you have lost your phone. Then using the find phone feature, you can even locate the exact geographical location of your missing device. Not only that, let me show you something even more advanced. Now wouldn't it be great if you could switch on the camera and take a video using your Android phone and the phone is not with you. So imagine you can go and visit your girlfriend, leave your phone in her room. Mm. Of course, if you get arrested, don't email me. I will not help you at all. But there is the camera function in the AirDroid app, which allows you to remotely switch on the camera of your phone. The only restriction is you and your phone need to be on the same network. So let me quickly reconfigure the AirDroid app and give you a live demonstration of how cool this feature is. All right, guys, I have reconfigured everything. My laptop, my cell phone and me. We are all on the same network. So let me now show you the camera feature of the Android app. 
So if you look at my Android phone, this is the camera, it's pointing towards you. And on my laptop, I'm gonna open up the camera feature. It's gonna remotely access the camera of my Android phone. And look at the screen. Maybe you can see yourself. Actually, you cannot. You can only see the cameraman who's recording today's episode of Geek on the Loose. I can even change the camera that is being used. So right now the back camera of my Android phone is being recorded. So instead let me change it to the front camera. And within a few seconds you might be able to see me. As you notice I am now looking at my Android phone but I am able to remotely record the camera whatever the camera is seeing through my laptop. It's fabulous. It's a lot of fun. What are you waiting for? Download the AirDroid app. Oops, I think the battery on my Android phone is almost drained. So I think it's time to end today's episode. I hope all of you enjoyed AirDroid. And a quick tip that I like to share with all of you is, not only can you install the AirDroid app on your own Android phone, maybe you can have fun with it by installing it on somebody else's Android phone. So imagine that you can install it on your girlfriend or boyfriend's Android phone. You can remotely connect to their phone, you can read their messages, see all their pictures and maybe even switch on their camera. Hmm. If you get caught doing that, if you are sent to jail, do not email me. I do not know you at all. Until the next time, this is Ankit Fadia signing off.